All right, welcome back, folks, to more Curse of the Azure Bonds. We're drawing near the end here. This is the Runes of Myth Drenor. A rock Sasha with matted fur and a dow expression comes around the corner. He makes a gesture of peace. What do you do? Wait. The rock Sasha replies, I am Tia Shaina. He goes on to tell you the tale, and you record it in your journal entry 5. Will you go with him? We, Raksasha, are very fond of gambling. I have been having a streak of bad luck and gone through most of my possessions. Recently, I have discovered the Bershaya had been cheating in those games. However, the clan lord would not act without proof. Bershaya guards and clan storehouse. I know the evidence hidden there. If you help me break in, you may select whatever you'd want from the storehouse. I would just want proof of Bershaya's cheating. All right, why not? Let's go with them. Come with me. The entrance is guarded. Do you attack? Yes. Whoa. Margoyles and hellhounds. Oh my. Keep our spell casting to a limited a limit here. Cannot rest in the next area. And we'll probably have a lot easier time fixing ourselves up. Get some! I saw in the last video there's a lot of random encounters here. Definitely leave Fidget open because he's got the blessed arrows. The sounds of battle have brought another Raksasha and re Retune. He calls out, So, dear Shia, stooping to rob in the clan. No humans that if you bring me his head, you'll be forgiven, otherwise, you shall be tonight's main dish. This is the promise of Brihara. Who do you attack? We're gonna attack Bri Beira. You fools, but we'll thank you at dinner. All right, we're gonna focus attack. We're gonna go ahead and, and uh, see if we can get away with a fireball here. Cast that lightning bolt a little closer. No. Nope. 
There you go. That makes a little more sense. Now that lightning bolt's gonna fuck shit up. Shia runs into the storehouse. He runs out a moment later with some papers. This proves he's cheating. Take what you wish from the storehouse. Good day. He moves quickly away before you can stop him. Bound within this building is a whole lot of shit. We're not worried about money. We'll grab these cleric scrolls and be done with it. Let me show you a little something. Boom. We're going to equip the blessed coral here. Probably help if we had a crossbow on as well. Uh, so let's take that off. Let's put on the plus five. Yep, you're dead. Good night. Oh, missed him. Shit's gotta hit him. Ow. This fucking shit is ridiculous, man. It's like every fucking two feet. At least you stand up for yourself. You are free to go now.
Ahead you see a man running near exhaustion, chased by a pack of hellhounds. The man stumbles and collapses. Do you go to the rescue? A battle begins. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Wasting the wrong arrows. You ain't doing too good, buddy. The man thanks you and whispers, I managed to hide it before I was captured. Ruined billing. Northeast. Your reward. His breathing stops. Interesting. We need to find a safe place to camp here. Somewhere. Anywhere. Alright, let's try to move on here. Best thing to, is advance and parlay and be haughty. In the plaza ahead is some dense brush. A small child or hobbit races over and dives into it. A hellhound tries to leap after him. Do you go to the rescue? You arrive before the hound can force its way in and cut it down. A Roxasha stands up from the bush. Why, thank you. Such kindness should be rewarded. He gestures and margoils on nearby roofs, pelt you with rocks. The monsters then leap down to attack like little bitches. Fucking son of a bitch. Leave poor little fidget alone. Well, I'm gonna have to find some place to rest because this just ain't cutting it. Fucking party is hurting, man.
Alright, so I gotta find my ass a way to heal. <laughs> We're in deep shit. Maybe I can heal in the dense brush here. We'll save on Jay. Nope. fucking tell me I can't fucking fix myself up anywhere here get the fuck up there we go there we go holy shit definitely saving that I'm gonna go for a fucking we're gonna go for a fucking heal heal here It. I have to get real lucky. Looks like we're come on, come on. Yeah. Oh yeah. Just as the dying man described, you locate a cache. Alright, we're gonna find some good shit in this area here. It's a treasure cache. Longsword, uh, girdle, and gauntlets of dexterity. The important thing is, is this girdle and this longsword. Well, the longsword is plus five. One D eight plus eleven. 1d8 plus 8. So yeah, we definitely want the plus 5 longsword. The girdle you can see gives us 24 strength. It's a girdle of giant strength. 1d8 plus 17 now on the sword. Ember Duke can use the, uh, wait a minute, what the fuck is going on with the hit points here? How did I get, what the fuck is going on with my hit points? Shit is all fucked up, I got level drained somehow? Some other goofy glitch? Somehow my hit points got fucked up, I gotta fix those. Everyone else is okay, but for some reason, Ember Duke and Ronstadt got glitched out of, uh, fucking half their hit points. Alright, got that fixed up. Uh, don't really know where these glitches are coming from, to be totally honest. It's pretty fucking weird to be to be honest, because I haven't really been cheating besides fixing the experience cap. You're heading toward a law druid temple. Do you want to continue? Fuck yeah, let's get this game over with. A dreamlike voice in your head says, Great danger lies before you. Be fully prepared. 
Do you wish to continue? Fuck no. I'm gonna save on backup for B. And then we're gonna continue. As you enter, you hear a voice. Finally, you have come. Step forward. Unable to control yourself, you step forward into the center of the room. Whoa. The fuck? Through the bonds, you are mine. Control. Follow me. Tyranthrax makes a speech, and you record it in journal entry 40. You have done well, my pets. The three artifacts that can do me harm are now in my possession. More importantly, the bonds you wear can act as the pool of radiance does. With them, I can transfer into an, any of your bodies and use it for as long as I need to. Then, should the body be killed, I can transfer through the bond and back to the pool or another of your bodies. I thank you for your great freedom you have afforded me. Now, come along and we will dispose of those dangerous objects. Objects. It looks like fucking Zeus. Hand your toys over to my priest. The party hands over the three artifacts through the resist with all their might. Now, priest, dispose of these unpleasant son of a bitches. The priest moves with great flourish and gracefully arcs each artifact into the pool, which swirls for a moment and then the item is gone. I've even a parchment with the phrase to release your bonds. In case anything goes wrong, he hands the parchment to the priest. Dispose of this through the pool. You bonded ones, come with me. It is time to complete the final spell. The priest throws back his hood, revealing himself as nameless. He yells, it won't be that easy. He tosses the artifacts back at you. A pitiful attempt. You have gained nothing but swift death. He strikes nameless down with a single blow. With his last breath, Nameless mouths the meaningless phrase on the parchment. The party feels the bond's control fade, but Tyranthrax's sigils does not go away. Tyranthrax just smiles. Only I can remove those bonds. Soon you will be mine again. As the party retrieves the artifacts, Tyranthrax looks afraid. Kill them, my pets! And then he rushes off. A tremendous noise is heard from the outside. Some of Tyranthrax's force goes to protect the temple. Minions of Tyranthrax rush to attack you! Your dumbass really just fucking goddamn fucking use a potion when you're fully healed? Alright, I'll control the rest of the characters from here. Thank you very much. Nah, I don't care about it. Alright, let's save. We got a backup save out there. Minions rush to attack you.
bonds are wiggling beneath the skin, their power is slowly returning. Minions of Tyranthraxis rush you like little bum fuckers. On, big roll. Fucking minions, man. Let's see if we can try running. This will suck if uh, one guy gets stuck behind. I've actually never run in one of these games. This is no good. Yeah, 
Okay. See you next video. Okay, so rewind a little bit. Before rushing into the final battle, a way that you can lessen the amount of enemies that are with Tyrant Thraxus. You can talk to Raksasha that resides here. Now make sure you're haughty with him. The Raksasha smiles. You have a boldness that is refreshing. He goes on to tell you his story and you record it in Journal Entry 57. It is good to speak with those confident enough to deal. My clan has taken this spot as a place for the rest of a few more lifetimes, but the flame one tyrant Thraxus has stolen our followers and threatened my clans. His power is... We cannot attack his temple directly through we hate him with great passion. Now to our deal. You wear the flame one's mark, but I have been told you are his enemy. When you attack his temple, we will bend our power to reclaim our followers. That may weaken him enough for you to be victorious. So instead of having a slew of margoyles against us, uh, it will actually help out and will makes the fight a lot more feasible. Again, make sure you uh, save before you go in here. And I'll uh, catch up with you after we go through all this again. So basically what you want to do once you get out of the temple is you want to creep your way uh, toward this main gate here to these stairs. Once you get up here, go ahead and save again. Really the best option for you to save your, your health, because you cannot rest up here at all, is to just save every few steps. And... Uh, I hope that you don't get into a fight. If you do, just quit out and reload. Like I'm about to do. The reason is is that you're going to want to keep all your spells and all your hit points. So it's really best just to just bunk out. I mean, if you got a super uber powerful party, sure, by all means. But honestly, how, how powerful can your party be at this point? Especially with the level cap. You notice this time uh, I made it a little bit further, just proving that there's not an actual. It's completely random, basically. And now I'm here at Tyrant Thraxis's door, so this is where you want to save. Uh, this is going to be the final battle. Then we're going to go ahead and buff everyone up as much as we can. We're going to cast Prayer. I'm going to cast Protection from Evil. I'm on, on, uh, going to cast Bless. Tyrant Thraxis can cast some pretty nasty spells. I thought I had... Definitely cast Haste. No missile weapons here. Uh, so that's really all we can do. I'm trade this to Ember Do. Trade this to Cairo. I'd say it's a good time to go ahead and use the potion.
Get the wand of fireballs equipped. Use the potion of invisibility here. Got the ring of invisibility. Assuming that does something. Let's do this. The power of your bonds has returned. Grovel at my feet with this instant. Your body begins to bow down. With a great force of will, you overcome the composer. So be it. Here is your destiny. Ground to the dust beneath my feet. He scowls. That amulet will let you scratch me, but it is far from enough to defeat me. For my greater glory, let your lives be forfeit. Damn, fucking busting out of that lightning already. Alright, we're gonna cast Fireball. Fidge is gonna waste his shit. Honestly, this is the same size fucking party. I thought we were supposed to be helped out, but apparently not. We really need to get off that other mage fireball, like, badly. Super badly. Cannot have all these priests laying around with this shit. This is detrimental that we get this fireball off. stock up in the mix. I just want to hurt Tyrant Thraxis at this point. I don't even care if he takes a fireball from all this shit. to use the dust of disappearance I guess We can slip by everyone now. Start doing some damage. We gotta get Tyrant Thraxis out of the picture as soon as possible. He's a dirty motherfucker. At this point, let's go back to the shield and mace. Just start hurting bitches. Alright, Tyrant Thraxis is down. That's huge. Alright, let's do a hit point check. We got some fucking... Really not too worried about these guys. Let's throw a fireball over here. Weaken the shit out of these guys. All 
right, they lost their spell from the Ice Storm. That's really all we cared about. This is going exceptionally well. We're going to keep it going. We're going to throw another Ice Storm out here. Basically, gonna go balls to the walls at this point. Let's go ahead and magic missile. We need to get rid of this fucking priest. We don't need him casting hold or anything. All right, that's a fucking wrap, son. I lost my spell. That's okay. We're gonna have them run away. We don't want to lose anyone if we don't have to. The rest of the monsters should be shitting their pants at this point. That's it. Game over. Curse of the Azure Bonds is done. Tyrant Thrax's spirit coalesces over the slain storm giant. You have defeated me. Were it not for the amulet of Lythander, I could possess you and rob you of your victory. Still, I can escape through the pool of... As you reach out for the pool of radiance, he cries out, Keep the gauntlet of Moandra away from there. You will unleash dangerous energies. Stay back! As the gauntlet contacts the pool, it contracts and shatters it. I am trapped without escape. You have succeeded where armies have not. Glotoir, you may. Tyranthrax is slain this day. Before your eyes, he crumbles into nothingness. You are certain he is destroyed because your final bond fades away. The curse of the Azure Bonds has finally been lifted from you. You are free at last. The Knights of Mithranor rush in. Congratulations. You have destroyed the Flamed One. With the power of elements to let us take you from this foul place to a fine feast. You are teleported to Shadowdale, where festivities have already begun. A huge cheer goes up at your arrival. Gari and Narcissia, arm in arm, yell congratulations from nearby stands. You have won. All right, folks, and that wraps it up. Yet another Goldbot game crushed underneath the heel of the game hoarder. Stay tuned for Secret of the Silver Blade soon to come, but not too soon. We have other games to finish first. Thanks for watching.